Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this burger reveal animation in After Effects. It's very easy to create and this is done without using any third party plugin. So let's see how to create this. Alright, so I've done in After Effects and I've already imported a couple of these images. So these are just some individual parts of a burger. So I downloaded this illustration from Freepik and after that I soloed everything out like this and exported these as PNG images like that so we have individual element on a separate png layer like this so after that just import these in after effects and you are ready to go also i have downloaded these background images which i'll put a link in the description from where you can download this so just import everything in after effects and you are ready to go so once you're done with this let's quickly create a composition so i'm going to go to composition new comp and let's call this one main width and height will be 19 20 by 1080 frame rate 30 fps and duration you can pick whatever you want just click on ok so we have this empty composition. So I'm going to select all of these layers which are of this burger and let's drag it over here. So we have all the layers. Let's press S and I'm going to scale everything down to something like this. You can play around with this scale later on as well. Perfect. Now I'm going to hide everything. So all of these layers are in a sequence. So we have number one. So we have the bun at the top and we have number 10, which is also the bun bottom so i'm going to quickly make the burger and align all of these layers as according to a perfect burger so let's place this over here and we have this nine number layer which is this patty and so i'm going to place this on top of it let's press r and i'm going to rotate it so that it looks flat and you can probably zoom in perfect so this looks good we have this lettuce and let's place it over here at number nine we have these tomatoes and Let's place it over here. Let's press R and I'm going to just rotate it a little bit. Perfect. We also have one more layer for tomato and which is over here. So let's place it over here. So this is onion. We can place it like here and one over here. We also have one more layer for tomato, which is over here. So let's place this one somewhere around here. And after that, let's bring the cheese and let's place this on top of everything like that. Looks good. Let's put the bacon and on the top we can put the bun, something like that. Now it's completely up to you. you can play around with the rotation of these layers and you can also play around with their position. And let me just quickly select this onion and let's make this little bit up front. Perfect. So here we have our burger. Now we can select all of these layers and let's just place them somewhere in the center don't have to be precise so let's just place it somewhere around here perfect now let's select everything and we are going to press p for position and let's move away so i have to change the duration of this composition so it's actually only 24 frames i'm going to set this to something like 10 seconds let's click on ok now let's zoom out and we have to probably increase the duration now we can move somewhere around here and just add a keyframe so this is going to be our final position we can play around with the timing later on. Let's press U to collapse everything. Now let's focus on only the base layer, which is this one. Let's press U to see all the keyframes. So this is going to be our final position. And in the beginning, I want this bun to be like at the top. So we want basically all the parts to fall up from the top. And we have this. Now if I press play, you can see that it comes and it stays like that. But we actually want a little bit of bounce and a little bit of weight to it. So for that, we can do a couple of things. We can use an expression. So I'm going to use this expression. So you can head over to this motionscripts.com or over here we have this keyframe bounce back expression or I'll pin the comment in the description. So you can just copy this from here as well. Just copy it and let's go back to the After Effects. Hold on the Alt key or Option key on Mac and click on the stopwatch. And after that, you can paste the expression. Now, if I press play, you can see that our bun comes and it bounces over here. But we have to tweak this further. So first I'm going to move this little bit closer and let's go to somewhere around 12 frames and let's place this over here. Now we can also do one more thing. Let's select this key, this keyframe, press F9 to easy ease this. And after that, let's go to the graph editor. Now, if your graph looks different, make sure you're using the speed graph, not the value graph. And after that, we can just simply select this endpoint and let's move these. Now, after that, just press play and you can see that we have our bun bouncing around. Now it is bouncing a little bit too much. So we can play around with these parameters to make it bounce less for the E value. I'm going to set this to 0.4 instead of 
now if i press play you can see that it is bouncing like a little bit which is exactly what we want perfect so this is the basic of animation what we want on all of these layers so let's quickly select all of these layers and enable them let's press u to see all the keyframes and let's make a little bit of space over here perfect now i'm going to select all of these keyframes and let's just move them over here and then just simply copy this keyframe and just paste it on to all of these layers because we want all of these parts to come from the top like that now we can select the expression and we can just simply start pasting it and just simply hold on the alt key and just keep on pasting this on all of these layers perfect so now we have pasted everything now if i press play you can see that all of these parts are coming down but we have to add a little bit of delay to all of these layers so that we have really nice bounce so i'm going to select all of these layers and let's press u to see the keyframes and after that let's select all of these layers and i'm going to move these little bit ahead and then let's just move them apart now if i press play you can see that we have the individual layers coming in so let's move everything out and let's just adjust the timing of individual layers so i'm going to make this something like that so this looks good and we have tomato over here and after that we want the second tomato which is this layer let me just quickly place it over here and let's add a little bit of gap between these two perfect now we have the onion and let's place it over here and we have the second onion layer and let's add a little bit of gap over here perfect now we have the cheese so let's place it over here and the bacon and at last we have the bun which we can place it over here so now if i press play you can see we have all of these layers coming in and we have our burger form perfect now let's select everything press u to collapse everything now let's add an null object so that we can move all of these layers at once let's parent everything to this null now we can control it using this null perfect so before we continue if you enjoy my work and you want to support me then you can check out my patreon page over there you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so make sure to check it out link for that is in the description so let's continue now let's quickly add our background so for that i'm going to drag it over here now it's actually quite big so i'm going to just scale this down something like this now let's select the second background and let's place it over here now in order to make the second background visible we can change the blending mode from normal to add perfect now we have this background and i'm going to add curves to this and let's drag it over here just play around with these curves to make this little bit darker something like that perfect so we have everything now let's do one more thing we don't want the static background we actually want this to have a little bit of variation so i'm going to select this layer and we can probably zoom in and let's go to somewhere around four or five frames then press ctrl shift d to split the layer now select the top one which is this and we can probably press r and just rotate it like that we can play around with the scale as well to add a little bit of variation again let's move somewhere around 10 frames just have a little bit of variation after every five frames we can probably zoom in let's place it over here then again move five frames Control shift d let's select this one and we can probably move it over here just keep on doing this for like a couple of frames after that we can just simply loop this out and let's go somewhere around here perfect now we can probably delete this so now select all of these layers which we have over here and just right click pre-compose let's call this bg for background make sure move all attribute is checked just click on ok now we have this composition now if i press play you can see that we have this animated texture but we want this on loop so for that we can right click go to time enable time remapping now hold on the alt key and click on the stopwatch after that just simply type loop out like that now you can just play around with its timing and you can just adjust it according to your needs so if i press play you can see we have this background moving now if it is moving too fast you can just simply increase the distance between these two keyframes 
to make this slower something like that now we can animate the this background as well so let's press s let's add a scaling animation so let's place the keyframe over here let's go to the beginning and i'm going to just scale this up and now if i press play you can see we have this background and in this one we have this frame where the background is not completely scaled so we can just fix that by simply going inside the comp like that so now if i press play you can see we have this burger and we have the elements coming out now we can select these press f9 to easy let's go to the graph and i'm going to change it like that now if i press play perfect so this looks good we can do the same scaling animation over here as well let's add a little bit of scale let's press f9 and let's change the graph to look exactly like that so now if i press play you can see we have this burger coming in perfect now let's add our text and it's actually quite easy let's select the text tool just click and you can type whatever you want now it's completely up to you you can use whatever font you want i'm using this carnival freak or freak show so once you're happy with the font we can just place it wherever you want now we actually want this text to wrap around this burger in a circle which is actually quite easy now in order to make this in a circle let's go to the shape tool and let's select the ellipse now make sure that this text layer is selected now hold on the shift key and you can just simply draw a from the center you can just simply click and you can just simply hold on the control key to draw a mask something like that perfect so once you're done with this go to the mask property and set this to none because we don't want to see the mask but actually we can go inside the text and under the path option we can set the path to this mask now you can see that our text has aligned to this mask and we can change the reverse path and after that let's play with the first margin and just move it to something like that so here you can see we have this in a very nice curve now if you want to play around with the size of this mask just simply double click on any of these and after that you can just play around with it however you want so we have this now let's quickly animate this so in order to animate we are going to animate its position so for position we can just simply make it like that now let's go to the range selector and let's open this up Let's add a keyframe for at one offset and let's set this to negative 100 and let's move it further apart and now let's set this to 100 so we have this sort of animation like this now in order to fix this we can go inside the advance and under the shape instead of square let's set this to ramp up now you can see that our text will come out but it is coming out like very slow so we can fix that by simply moving the keyframes closer something like that we can easy ease them as well like this and we can play around with the ease high and ease low if i set the ease high to negative 100 you can see that our text comes out like this now if i set this to 100 it will come out like with a snap like that now if this is something you want completely up to you but i'm going to set this to negative 100 so we have our text now let's create the second text it's actually quite easy just simply select this layer press ctrl d to duplicate this now let's double click and let's type our next text like that now we can select this and let's go inside the properties under the text path option first i'm going to move it like this down over here then we can turn off the reverse path so that the text is inside and just play around with its position something like that now you can see that it's looking like very compact so we can just simply select the mask and let's scale it up like that and now again let's place it where we want the text to be now if still you want a little bit of gap between these characters then you can add a little bit of tracking let's go to animate and let's add tracking and let's increase the tracking amount so now you can see that we have the gap between the text and now if i press play you can see that our second text is also coming from the bottom which we can easily fix 
by simply going inside the animator and now we can just simply go to the very beginning and instead of setting this to this positive value we can set this to negative like that so now if i press play you can see we have the text coming out perfect now let's just play around with their timing and just place them behind all of these layers so let's select them and let's place that somewhere around here and here we have the burger falling and somewhere around here we can just make our text coming out and let's trim these layers so that it is not visible in the beginning so now if i press play you can see we have our burger reveal and after that we have our text coming out so this is how you can create these kind of animations and you can see that it's very easy you can use it for a logo reveal or whatever you want so i hope you learned something from this video the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one Thank you.